See what happened September the 4th, 1976, that created the most talk in the world of television. <laughs> I, have a, I have a friend who loves what you do every year. This is uh, quite a story that almost nobody knows. It was 1976, and the phone rang as Frank Sinatra. He said, if I was to bring Dean on the show, how do you think he'd react? And I said, I think he would react marvelously. And they hadn't really reconciled yet. And he says, I've arranged it. He wants to do the show. We didn't tell anybody because we knew if it leaked out, I would be a dead man. I said he'd come up in a limo with seven or eight people, and Dean would be one of them with a raincoat and a hat and glasses. I said, when Frank comes out, make sure all the stations down the line record his appearance. Get all the PR people you can in the audience. It's going to be a big story. They said, well, what is it? So I can't tell you, but just trust me. We just turn him out here. Come on. We would meet for the first time in 20 years, only because of the stupidity of when people get highly emotional. And we both felt badly about that. And I'm looking, and I went, oh, my gosh, that's Dad walking out, because I could tell his walk. And then when I saw his face, and I saw Jerry's face, and they hugged. That scream that came out of that audience of 750 people. I mean, it sounded like 750,000 people. It was just amazing. People love to know that love prevailed. <laughs> they went their separate ways and they didn't see one another. And then they got. This moment, it was worth yeah, all of it. We've seen but... each other uh, for 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, there was all those rumors about our breaking up, and then when I started the show and you weren't here, I believed it. Everybody was just dumbfounded. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. Uh, so, you working? And uh, the other one is a check for a thousand dollars from the uh, Stardust Hotel. And another check for a thousand dollars from the Stardust Hotel. That's beautiful. Thank I you. Uh, and the organization, a uh, five thousand dollar check on, on behalf of my two grandchildren, Amanda and A.J. Lambert, because they're healthy. <laughs> you do that one more time, we're going to buy the furniture. <laughs> Listen, I have, a, I have a friend who loves what you do every year and who just wanted to come out. And say, Would you send my friend out, please? Okay, where, okay, where is he? Would you send him out here? Come here. Break it up. I think it's about time, don't you? And thank you. Yeah, I think it's about time. We, well, we folks. <laughs> Should have been a Jew that did it. We could whip the world without the guns of Navarro. There they are, folks. I don't know. So how you been? <laughs> you know, it seems like uh, we, we haven't seen it. each other uh, for 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, there was all those rumors about our breaking up, and then when I started the show and you weren't here, I believed it. I'll show you guys to your room if you like. The lights are out upstairs, so follow me. <laughs> oh, he drinks a lot. This kid. Uh, so you working? <laughs> I work. 
six weeks a year at uh, the Megum. <laughs> the Megum. <laughs> <laughs> and six days I do a roast. And would you excuse us a minute? <laughs> I just want to see the wires are all right. <laughs> Gee, it's nice to see you. No, I'm over you? here. Hi. No, I was, I had to, I had to come in because I, I had to, you know, I had to go and this was the closest place. <laughs> you always have to go. I always drink. You oh. always... <laughs> I, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It was your life. <laughs> I get you off somewhere. You better get out of here. I, I got off last night. No, 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 no. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we got a melody. We got a melody to do. A mel, melody. Yes. Right, together. Yeah. Goodbye, yeah. Jerry. Oh, okay. So long. It's been nice to see well, you. Well, there we go again. Goodbye, yeah. folks. <laughs> Thanks for coming over. I didn't mean to wake you, oh. but you're on. Ah, uh, me? Yeah. I can't give you anything but love, baby. That's the only thing I got plenty of, baby. Dream a while and scheme a while. Sort of fine. Uh, again. No, me. Gee, I'd like to see you looking swell, mm. booby. You turn Jewish on me. No, me, baby. I ain't gonna change. Till that lucky day, you know, down. Well, baby, I can give you. Thing with love. You're just too marvelous, too marvelous for the words. <laughs> Not yet. Glorious, glamorous, and that old standby amorous. It's all too wonderful. Not too loud. You never find a word. Singing. He's a Secret Service singer, folks. I mean, they just ain't swell enough. You are much, too much, and just too very, very to ever be, to ever wind up in that dictionary. You mad at me? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> oh. The black nose of yours. Black? Uh, am I black? Yeah, you're black. One, two, three, one, two, three, and done. What are you playing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, sir. I can see him now. Oh, yeah. Pretty good entertainment at this hour. <laughs> no, I just wanted to say, I mean, I watched you for five hours, and I saw on the side, all you got is $733.19 and 16 cents. Three million. Oh, that's the phone number. That's the phone oh. number. Let's hear it. Some, Jeff. Dino. Thank you, Dino. Oh. Oh, yes. Uh, getting on with the rest. <laughs> Do you still think about Dean at night? There isn't a day in my life that I don't think of my partner. Not a day. Never. I don't have any qualms about proclaiming the love I had for my partner. 
every time I walk on a stage, I know it's because of him and what he did to get me there. It's a constant appreciation and a gratitude to a man that I can't communicate with, but I just hope he's peeking and listening and knowing how much I care and how much I miss him.